When Maya first met Sanin, theirs were unusual circumstances. We actually meet as um, children, refugee children in uh, Berlin. When they met again, years later in Sarajevo, <laughs> they bonded <laughs> and fell in love, officially becoming what's described as a mixed couple made up by people from Bosnia-Herzegovina's different ethnic groups, something increasingly rare in the country today. People met each other, they love each other, no matter what you, religion, ethnic group, or etc. That, that was a normal thing, uh, before the war, yeah, I mean, I mean, that period, you know. It's hard to explain what's happened now. The deadliest conflict in Europe since World War II, the war in Bosnia killed 100,000 people and displaced over 2 million. No one here was left untouched. The Dayton Agreement, which brought the conflict to an end, divided the country into two administrative entities, the Bosnian Croat Federation and the Republika Srpska for Bosnian Serbs. Communities were splintered and ethnic nationalism became a political tool. We're not talking about genuinely unfulfilled nationalist goals. I think that these are simply uh, um, a very useful tool to manipulate the public and uh, make sure that nobody asks questions about wh why, why are public resources spilling into, into private pockets? We, why do we have dysfunctional judicial system? Why don't we have established principle of justice? Uh, why is rule of law non-existent here? Um, because, you know, the, the question that dominates is us against them. Us and them are concepts Master knows too well. One of the front lines during the Bosnian war, the city remains divided into east and west. Here, two hospitals, two garbage collection groups, two electrical companies, two bus terminals and two fire brigades are among the utilities designed to serve the two communities in the city. One made up mostly of Bosniak Muslims and one of Catholic Croats. It is. It's still divided. We have this side and we have that side. There is still definitely a lot of work to be done, as I already mentioned, especially with all the generations who are still in that like mindset uh, that uh, they had during the war. In 2004, Moster was ordered to unify, and on paper it did. On paper. Moster's gymnasium, where local kids attend classes, is not your average high school. Inside the building, Bosniak and Croat students are separated. They go to different classrooms, have different teachers, follow different curricula. Officials in the city managed to bring the two educational systems under the same roof, but failed to merge them. From kindergarten, uh, you have to choose whether to send your child to Bosniak or, or a Croat kindergarten. Uh, and children don't meet during education at all. They grow up apart. My, my biggest fear is that by separate educational system, we are building foundations for the next conflict. 25 years after the war, Bosnians are still struggling to build peace and create an environment where people can truly live together and maybe even fall in love. While Europe and the rest of the world witness the rise of populist nationalism, Bosnians say they offer an example of how dangerous it can be. Annelise Borges in Sarajevo for Euronews.